guys it's anna here welcome back to another weekly art vlog i hope you guys have been enjoying them because i have been uh, actually really enjoying creating these and just to kind of show you guys more raw and real behind the scenes of this whole art journey that i'm on i'm just basically starting off this week by doing my sketching course i mentioned this in my last vlog that um, I'm doing the Skillshare sketching course and it's been so so great because I've been learning so much and learning about like the techniques of everything um, especially learning the basics when it comes to sketching which is very helpful and handy for when I paint and the next day I was just really inspired by my mom it's just been nice because like she's been painting a lot while being at home and it just really inspired me to um, paint again I've just been having a lot of fun and I wanted to try out this new painting and instead of doing nature I kind of wanted to do this beautiful photo I found this on Pinterest and it basically shows these like two beautiful angels overlooking these lights and it kind of looks like it's in LA I just really love the colors I was really inspired by the lights as well as the shadow and the angel wings and I just thought you know let's let's try let's at least try this thing out it was definitely quite a very interesting process and it took a different turn than what I expected um, but I learned a lot but anyways, I am just pretty much like going over the back around of the canvas and painting it purple. I've just been so drawn towards like a lot of pastel light colors and also a lot of like purples, pinks, like light blues, turquoise colors. Um, I feel like it's just one of those colors that is just very inspiring because this whole week has been pretty much gloomy so it's nice to work with like brighter colors um so yeah as you can tell it started to get a little worse in my opinion wasn't really feeling it so i decided to just kind of dance it off <laughs> i wanted to start again the next day because i definitely needed some help I got some pointers, my mom was really helping me out, just sort of like blend out the background and this was actually really nice. We kind of both started painting this together, she was helping me fix it. I was also learning a lot of different blending techniques that she was showing me, which was very, very useful. And I just kind of feel like being in lockdown, um, I'm not going to lie, me and my mom tend to bump heads because we are very much similar in terms of our personalities. and. I think one thing that has kept us grounded and sort of have this wonderful bonding moment is painting and it's just like such a, a beautiful thing that we both just only share and we both can understand and I really like that, that we have that with each other. Um, it makes me really appreciate it and also kind of makes us have a relationship even grow stronger and get closer and honestly like again I would have never thought I would be here and be painting never would i've thought in a million years but uh, she's definitely a big inspiration so anyways i just kind of took over the painting after she showed me like her blending techniques and i just kind of started doing my own thing at this point of the painting it started to take like a different turn it started to look like more of like a field of flowers and like a beautiful like sunset happening and honestly at this point um like it looks fine to me as i'm editing this but i think in that moment my headspace was just 
out of whack. Um, I was really doubting myself and I was like having this harsh expectation of wanting to make things look exactly like the picture. During the same night, I was talking about this with my mom and I decided to scrap the entire painting. And so we both started over. We both ended up doing this beautiful Monet inspired landscape painting. And yeah, we pretty much finished it in two hours. She mainly did most of it. But um, yeah, pretty much scrapped it. I'm kind of bummed out, but then also like I learned so much. So I think, especially when it comes to creating, don't be too hard on yourself. Yes, I do drink coffee with a metal straw because so I don't get coffee stain teeth. Yeah, I was trying to finish off the painting, but I just got so in my head. I was trying to mimic my painting to be exactly like the picture and I think I just do was doing this like unrealistic expectation I was putting on myself. I wasn't like quite happy with my with what I was doing. And so I spent like two days like trying to fix it and just going back and forth. And then last night I just scrapped the entire thing and just painted over it. We actually ended up painting it over. <laughs> and um, it's, I would say it's mainly her painting because she was doing most of the work. Along that way, I actually learned a lot of different techniques that she was showing me. But it was like a Monet inspired painting that we were doing something more landscape. I liked how it turned out, it's so pretty. Um, I feel like it's more her style. This is kind of what goes through my head when I'm thinking like back and forth in, and going against you know, my, my intuition and I think that is pro that's probably something I really needed to kind of go through and face so that I kind of can trust myself. I think one thing um, this whole experience and this has taught me is to not force things because I was forcing this painting and this idea. I wasn't going with my instinct and just going with my feeling and really just enjoying the process and the journey of it. So I thought today um, I do something a little bit more different and not paint today. I think I just, I was going, I was going woohoo in my head. I actually wanted to show you some art supplies that I actually got in yesterday and do like a quick little demo and show you guys like my creative journal. This is my creative notebook that I picked up from Paris and one of the things that I love to do is explore and create art and just kind of like fill it up and just whatever's on my mind I'm just gonna put in this book. This is very like dear and near to me and also I haven't really talked to like a human being in a while. So I kind of, I kind of miss talking. I mean, other than my family, um, but yeah, I just, I just want to chat. So okay, I actually, this is like early Christmas for me. I got some um, stationery stuff from YesStyle. They have really, like, I'm not kidding you. They have really good craft stuff, painting stuff, um, stationery stuff, journals, notebooks, pens. Like, you name it, they got a lot of good stuff on there. It took a while for it to come in, not gonna lie. I have also been using um, the acrylic paint that you guys saw in like the paintings. I'm gonna start off with, so these are just metallic ink pens. I thought that this would be like really fun um, for me to like write letters in. So this comes in a pack of 10 and this is one millimeter. So it's like a fine, I feel like I'm doing like a makeup video. Um, yeah, it's a very fine tip. But I'm actually really excited to experiment with this. I really love the colors too. The next two things that I grabbed, so I have been obsessed. I have just been like shopping for art stuff. I'm just like on a high of creativity. So I got these two paintbrushes. I just wanted to um, get some like really fine tip paintbrushes. So they're both different sizes. It doesn't really say on the package. Yeah, this is a number 10 and this is a number 
18, whatever that means. So one is actually a lot more thicker and finer and then this one's um, slightly smaller so I've been like experimenting with like paintbrushes as well and now that my mom and I were like painting a lot um, we are also running through brushes a lot as well just because like we both share them and then I got a bunch of stickers whenever I am creating in my creative journal notebook um, I love using stickers I think it's just it adds to whatever I am creating and I also like to use these for like if I'm writing someone a letter or cards who writes letters nowadays I still want to write letters I'm just really into very like vintage renaissance kind of style if that's how you want to call it so these are the two vintage style printed masking tapes one of them is vintage paris and then the other one is vintage style number five and number 12 and then the next two ones that i grabbed um these are so pretty i just it's like beautiful goddesses kind of having like a renaissance sort of ethereal kind of styles so it comes with a bunch of like stickers of these beautiful women and I have just been really inspired. I really like the, I love the colors of them. So this one is called Setting Sun and Morning Light. It gets even better. I have even more stickers. Um, I really love like dried floral art. So I got these three pressed floral art. I just thought that they look so realistic and it comes in these cute little baggies. I have just been obsessed with like collecting a bunch of stickers. <laughs> the next two, these are just like papers that I wanted to collect. Just like some retro lettering diary background kind of pieces of paper. I thought this would be really nice as well. I've been seeing a lot of beautiful paintings on like old letters or on old book pages and it just looks so so pretty. I feel like these two together would look so so cool and just like playing around with like the stickers it's also really great too because i feel like when you're just being childlike and free and just expressing yourself like with no expectation and just purely out of enjoyment and having fun i feel like that's when you start to discover like your your style and the things that really like speak out to you um so that's what i'm starting to kind of dabble in and feel so these are the last three that i got i just i was looking through they have a lot of selections for stickers so i feel like take your time when you're browsing around yes style i got these this package of two different style of stickers so it actually comes with like a lot as you can see i really love music sheets i actually played piano i also played flute in high school so music is something that is very dear and near to my heart and I just feel like it would be really fun to create um, with these pieces of paper. And then the last thing. So these are also more paper as well that I wanted to collect. It's like very old pieces of paper. Uh, I wonder if this is Russian? I can only imagine. It just looks really funny. It's like basically <laughs> doing math. It feels like this is like a textbook for like physics or math or something so yeah i just kind of wanted to like experiment um with different types of paper with different stickers and just sort of like explore that and i think i'm gonna do that today so yeah that is that is everything for my haul Okay, I feel like I'm starting to become one of those like scrapbooking fanatics Honestly, it's so therapeutic. I highly recommend you guys try this for yourself and especially to like if you are a creative and you are kind of feeling burnt out or like you need to switch tasks because I don't know if you feel like this but for me personally, I can't be creating the same form of art over and over like I need to switch tasks because 
I feel like my mind is gonna go crazy and I need to just like change things up to make things a little bit more fun for me uh, this is really great and especially with this like I can just like let go there's no expectation and I can just have fun creating what kind of you know any kind of art that I feel like doing so I highly recommend that you guys get your own little notebook that you could just use as a creative journal and I actually found this idea I believe uh, it's from this youtuber named Jodi Clark I love her videos and she's so inspiring and I just thought this was such a really beautiful way to just self-express um, but also even like develop your own style and just kind of see like what you like and as you can see uh, through what I'm doing you can kind of get a feel of like what I like which is a lot of you know vintage artwork pieces a lot of nature um, something that's a little bit more ethereal and something that kind of has like a renaissance vibe to it and it's really fun to start to kind of see, like now that I'm editing this, I can kind of take a big step back and just kind of analyze and see like the direction that my style is going into. And if you guys can't find your style, that's totally okay. No one's gonna figure it out right away. Like honestly, the best advice that I could ever give is just to keep practicing and just keep creating and and just keep doing it even if it turns out not as what you expected just keep doing it and keep having fun um so that is everything for this week i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in my next video i love you guys bye